Hi everyone, in this video I'll be talking about three motherboard troubleshooting methods. The first being to clean your RAM, simple and very effective if it works. The second is to clear your CMOS, which can be done by removing the battery or short circuit. And the last is to swap individual RAM sticks when only one RAM stick is in slot A2 or B2. Now don't forget to like and subscribe for more PC gaming tips. What a surprise, no signal. Now if these methods don't solve your problem, you might have a bigger issue at hand. Okay, now I'm gonna go ahead and wait for this yellow light to pop up and turn off. I just realized my PC was still on. And that shut off, so now I can go ahead and remove my RAM. After I remove my RAM, I'm gonna go ahead and inspect my gold tips. Now, if there's any debris, I can clean it with compressed air or an isopropanol alcohol applied to a Q-tip. I went ahead and reinstalled my RAM because I didn't see any debris. Power on the power supply and power on the desktop and the motherboard will signal its initialization. And if the yellow DRAM light is still there, we can anticipate that our monitor will still not have signal. What a surprise. That was the first troubleshooting method. Now we're going to the second troubleshooting method, which is the clear CMOS. And the first is going to be removing the battery. My GPU is in the way of my battery, so I'm going to have to remove it. I do not unplug the power from it because there is no need to. You just simply remove it from your motherboard and you will see the battery. There is a clip on the interior of the battery holder that holds the battery in place. You just push gently on it and the battery will pop out. Then you want to wait about five minutes before replacing the battery and that is the end of the battery removal method. Now we're going to do the short circuit method also known as clear CMOS header. You're going to look for a CLRTC signature on your motherboard. CL stands for clear, RTC stands for real time clock. And it's typically at the bottom of the motherboard. I pointed it out on mine. Check your user manual to make sure where it is. But what you're going to want to do is turn off the computer and unplug the power cord. Short circuit pin 1 to 2 with a metal object or jumper cap for about 5 to 10 seconds. Plug the power cord and turn on the computer. Hold down the delete key during the boot process and enter BIOS setup to re-enter data. Personally, I rather just remove the battery. Power on the power supply and power on the PC and the motherboard will initialize. If the yellow light remains, we can anticipate again that the monitor will not receive signal. And that is the end of the second troubleshooting method. And now we're gonna start with the third, which is to leave one RAM in slot A2 or B2, and then swap the two RAMs to make sure that the RAM itself is not the issue. Okay, so one RAM is out. I'm going to turn on the power supply and turn on the PC and we'll wait to see if we have any signal. The DRAM yellow light turned off. This is good. And now the white light is on, which is also good. And let's go ahead and take a peek at the monitor. All right, we're making progress. This means that the RAM that is currently plugged into the motherboard is not faulty. So now I will swap the RAMs and make sure that the one that is not plugged into the motherboard is not faulty. Okay, so we're gonna turn off the power supply and you wanna make sure that all the lights turn off. You can see this one right here is still lingering around, but just wait for it to turn off before removing that RAM. Okay, we got the green light. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this RAM and swap it with the RAM that was not plugged into the motherboard and verify that it is not faulty as well.
by now you know the drill. I'm going to turn on the power supply, power on the PC, and see what the motherboard tells us. All right, the light is yellow. Let's see what happens. Is this the moment of truth? It's off. And we got a white light. Awesome. So we have, so we can anticipate that the monitor will work. Oh, magic. All right. So clearly our RAM is not the issue and it is more likely an issue with our motherboard, which is unfortunate because it's a pain in the butt to change. But I hope you found this video insightful and until next time, see ya.